I got signed on my first contract about 10 days into porn. Yeah. With West Coast Productions. Wow. Um, so they, that's what always happens is that if a dude comes on the on the scene and he's really to, talented, they, they try, try to, to get you snatch exclusive him up right and they're away. They take right? him up right away. And they had never seen nobody like me. So uh, they snatched me the fuck up quick. They gave me, they offered me some bullshit contract first. Mm. And mm -hmm. me, I just have more intelligence about myself when it comes to money mm -hmm. and knowing who I am and what I bring to the table. Plus, Diana told me, she was like, nigga, don't sign for nothing less than this. Porn ain't never seen nobody like you. Wow. She was like, don't sign for nothing less than this. But so then, you, what, you asked them for more, more money? When they, when they offered me that contract, I told them what I wanted. Mm. And they was like, oh, you'll never get that. They was like, man, nigga didn't get that. <clears throat> Mr. Marcus didn't get that. Lex didn't get that. And mm. I said, well, I'm not none of them. I'm Rico. Right. Mm. And about six days later, they bought that contract. Wow. <laughs> it was for what I wanted. And so how much are you obligated to shoot at that point? Well, for that contract, I had to do 14 scenes a month. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And I got a check on the first uh, for 6000 <laughs> and I got a check on the 15th for 6000 Right. Wow. And that was for a year, exclusive contract. So all of a sudden, you're living good. Because this is back then, too, so that's yeah. a lot more money. That yeah. was, yeah. It was... I was living good, you know, I was making my money, I had my own place and my stuff was good, but then when you get that type of money at a 20, as a 20 year old, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, that's a $140,000 contract. Mm -hmm. You start wilding out? Not really, I kind of always was used to having money because mm -hmm. of the way I hustled when I was young, being a dancer and then I was robbing shit, I always had money. But I did do different things. I moved my mother into another mm -hmm. place in a nicer area, moved, moved her to Bellflower, mm -hmm. got a nice townhouse, mm -hmm. um, had a car club. Had my Camaro, then they ended up buying me a Tahoe right off fresh off the lot. You know, back then it was uh, when the hot boys was like stock shit stink. Mm. So <laughs> I, went, I went to Chevrolet, they bought a brand new, the whole car still wrapped in plastic. Give me that one. Oh man. And drove it, took it off the lot. Nigga took it right to the motherfucking uh, the floor master shop, put pipes on it. They and had the stretch PT cruiser. <laughs> yeah, when you that? look back at the fucking uh, cribs that they did, yeah, that they, shit was crazy. They had a stretch mm -hmm. PT cruiser and like all this like insane shit. Was in and there. the Twitter caption when I saw this reposted was like, uh, literally all of this is worth nothing now. Nothing. Which nothing. is a pretty good point. Bro, I swear to God to you, my Tahoe that I had, that same Tahoe, I put my video and audio system in that car alone was 19,000. Wow. I had 15 TVs in that bitch, 27 inch screen, car wow. shows, all that shit. I did, I did the dub show. I won the dub show. I did all that shit. What oh, year wow. is this? This was. Or five or six, man. Seven. You feel like you were doing that to get more girls, or you were just doing it he to flex some motherfuckers? That's when we had Crenshaw. That's when we had, you know, the mm -hmm. car club days. We was mm -hmm. all on Crenshaw all day, so that's what we was doing it for. When all the car clubs was out there. But did like, you feel like you wanted to stunt too? Because there had never, yeah. like, like that's such a rare. Like people are used to rappers, drug dealers, whatever. But to yeah. be a male porn star who's like and that really was a, that was a bigger thing for me. It was mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. I brought that. The, basically, I brought hip hop really to porn more like the rapper style looking of a dude yes, and the gangster style looking of a dude to porn besides mm -hmm. Wesley because Wesley had the, the, the scare you nigga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Me, I'm not the, really the scare you look type. Yeah. Nigga. I'm kind of nigga that you can understand fly. sometimes. Yeah, yeah, the fly one. And that's what I always brought the point. If you ever looked up at me when I was in porn back in the day, I was mm -hmm. always dressed nice, always was accordingly. And the women always, oh, Rico, you always smell good. You always did. You're very articulate. Sure. You know what I'm saying? But don't play with my money because that's when you get choked the fuck out in here. Yeah. And I've had people do that. <laughs> and they, I didn't have to have that happen. But speaking of, like you said, you're trying to present yourself a certain way. Did you ever experience discrimination in porn? Oh, porn is one of the most racist fucking industries in the world. Speak on it. <laughs> do you, has it but I also want to know. <laughs> yeah. Now this, versus back then, how much shit, has it, it changed? Ain't even, it ain't changed. They more bold with it now. Back then, they used to hide the racism. <laughs> now they tell you in your fucking face they don't fucking like you, fucking nigger. <laughs> oh, man. They just straight at you with that shit But now. it's a weird dynamic because the black dick is the most in-demand thing, that, but then you also feel like... That and gay shit. Oh, yeah. And that's the thing that they're trying to push onto a lot of the more masculine yeah. porn stars. Now, if you see a lot of that shit now, bro, it's a lot of shit that we didn't do back in the day. Mm. It's a lot of the dudes that's doing the crossover shit that this shit is frowned upon on this side. And that's not me. I'm not homophobic at all. I love everybody. Yeah. But it's not for you. Don't push that agenda on me because, oh, your coworker doing it. I don't give a fuck what my coworker doing. That's not me. Mm. Mm -hmm. Just because he comfortable with it don't mean I am. He not from where I'm from. Right. He can't do what I do. I can't do what the fuck he do. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not putting toys in my ass and fingers up my butt, and then I'm going to go back to the hood and talk to my niggas and go somewhere else. People look upon me differently because I've been in this industry coming up for well, 19, 19 years. You feel me? So, okay, so do you consider, I guess, like ass eating gay? <clears throat> no. Oh, okay. I like my ass eh? Wait. I just frequently got into it like like the last like year with my OnlyFans because did I you, never did it in my own. Well, you used to think it was weird? Before. I did. The world has changed. Kind of. I thought it was like demasculating mm. and I wasn't I had to figure out a way that I was comfortable with it because yeah. even still there's certain ways some dudes do it mm -hmm. <laughs> and I don't 
like, throwing the legs yeah, up. Yeah, I can't. Shit. I can't put the legs back behind my head, bro. What about being on all fours? <laughs> no, hell no. That's weird. enough. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not getting on all no fours. No, but bro, do you feel like so you're saying that the fingers? That's gay, but like the ass eating is not. But do you feel like you're kind of like I don't want to be. I, I guess trying to convince yourself that yo, that you know, that maybe I crossed the line. I don't That's where I draw the line words. too. I ain't trying yeah, to. Have a finger I don't want to be penetrated at all, bro. Like <laughs> I, I mean, Tug is penetrating you, right? Huh? The Tug is penetrating she, you. Right? She, she, no, it ain't going in. She's staying outside. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she <laughs> washed the window. You She's don't break outside, it. <laughs> nigga. She ain't going in there. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> how much they pay you for your first ass? Uh, well, <laughs> it's on OnlyFans now. Well, I've never done it for nobody else besides what I own on my OnlyFans. Right. It's That's certain smart. shit that I've ever mm. done. And now that I'm like my OnlyFans and shit, I've had my OnlyFans coming up two and a half years. Yeah. Um, it was the, That's where I said I'll do stuff at because then I own it. You gotcha. make way more money doing OnlyFans now? Fuck yeah. Really? Because. Changed the game. The thing about it is it did change the game to where you own it. Because even in porn, like a lot of people don't know. If what does a contract, you don't own your your your, your work. Mm-hmm. When I go work for a company, I make what I make that day. I don't get residuals. I don't get no backup. So I have to continue to work. And that's why girls shoot shit like Lana Rhodes, yeah. who, and then she ends up resenting it and hating the fact that she did it. But still, if you go to Pornhub right now, there's going to be a crazy ass photo of her on an ad on the side. Yeah. yeah. And they a do that. We don't, we don't get money from that shit, bro. Like, yeah. Girls I'm need to know that before them. they get in the game, you know? They do that. It's like, it's a lot more coming out now. And I tell people all the time, like, fuck the companies. Like, you can use the companies for certain exposure mm-hmm. that you need, but focus on your brand now because now we have the control as, as, as performers. Do you still shoot? Uh, for other people, or you if just they, shoot for yourself? When they call, it's been slow. I ain't shot in three months. Oh, okay. But mm-hmm. you know, I make my money on OnlyFans. I can, I can fuck my girl, and put that up there. I can do content with other people. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, and it's easier. It's like a lot of girls that are coming into the industry now. They want to reach out because it's not too my own horn, but they want to come work with the goat because it's like they know when you come do a certain type of scene with me, what my my fan base brings, along with what I'm gonna bring to the table. Of course. And along with how the scene is gonna look. Okay guys, we wanna thank you so, so much for getting us to 100,000 subscribers right here on the Clips channel. If you wanna support, please click that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 200K. Thank you, thank you so much.